And I believe that we're in a time where God is showing himself visible to his people. Amen. I believe that we have the preachers and the teachers and the leaders of God. Amen. We got to be in a place in our lives. Amen. To where we position ourselves to hear God. Some of our, sometimes our lives can be so ragged and our lives can be so messed up that we can't even hear God talk to us. Amen. So I'm, I'm, I'm careful, amen, I'm careful, amen. Because of some issues and things that I have been dealing with, I have truly learned how to hear God. Right. You, you, you know, sometimes I, I want you to know something. God will allow, we dealt with it in Sunday school this morning. Sometimes God will allow some things to come into your life, amen, that you might draw closer to him. Yeah. Amen, amen, because I'm convinced that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, amen. Because the word says that nothing that the enemy, amen, amen, tries to do to me is going to have prosperity. Right. Right. I believe that. I believe that nothing, amen, if you are a true believer, a true born again child of God, amen, you need to quit messing with the devil. Right. Amen. Because he can't win. He has no prosperity. He has no title deeds. He can't do anything to the children of God. Amen. 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 The Bible even tells us that, that even the spoils of the wicked, amen, are laid up for the children of God. Amen. Huh? God going to take what wicked folk possess, amen, and God is going to use it to bless God's people. Good God Almighty, amen. Huh? Don't fret yourself because of evil. Do it. You know, good God Almighty, God is going to bless his children. Preacher, what are you saying today? What is it that God has had us to look at today? And so it was that God led us to uh, the, the book of Galatians. Amen. Amen. And this was this was this was one of those odd finds that Paul Paul found this church. Amen. And and and, and 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 the thing about this church, this church was basing their faith simply on works. Uh -huh. Amen. They just thought that they worked at it and worked at it and worked at it and worked at it, that it would come out. Amen. Sometimes Christian folk feel like that. We feel like we got to be the busiest people in time. Amen. In order that somebody might know that we're Christian. Amen. You can work yourself to death and somebody still won't recognize you are Christian. Y'all better hear me this morning for a little while. I want to, I want, to, I want us to take uh, uh, a look at something that uh, Paul said to the church of Galatia. Amen. Galatia chapter 6. Amen. And I want us to just concentrate on the ninth verse. I want us to just take a look, amen, at this verse, amen, uh, the ninth verse, amen. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Amen. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. it's due season. It's due season. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Yeah. Somebody ought to have come to a conclusion by now that I am in the due season of my life. The word said... Uh, good God Almighty, do not be weary in your way of doing. Huh? <laughs> For in due season, huh? Uh, it shall reap if you faint not. Amen. And I believe that the people of God, amen, we need to grasp, we need to take hold to the idea that we need to start walking, we need to start moving, we need to start living in the idea that I am in the due season of my life. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, again, we come before you with thanksgiving in our heart. We are thankful, God, that you have blessed us, that you have called us to this time and to this place. Father God, I pray now that the words of my mouth and uh, the meditation of my heart, amen, 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 that, that, that you would just bring forth this word, God, that somebody might hear you and not me. God, I pray right now that the word would just manifest itself into the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, we do pray and we ask it all. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. I want you to know something that there is, uh, the, the Bible tells us that for everything that God does, there is a time and there is a season. Yes. Amen. God just don't do anything. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 
for everything that's going on in your life, wherever you are in your life, whatever is moving, whatever is going on in your life, God has appointed a time and a season for it. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I believe that one of our problems is, is if we want things to happen and God has not set that season in order. And so it is that we try and we try and we try and we try and things seems to never work out. Amen. And so it is that, that, that God said that, 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 that there's a time and a place and a season for everything under the sun. Amen. And everything you and I do is under the sun. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 There's a time to be born, a time to die. Amen. A time to gather, a time to cast away. Amen. God said that there's a time and there's a season for everything in your life. Amen. Amen. So it is with this particular word. If we would look at this word, if we would look at how the people of God are moving. Amen. Men and women whom God has called forth to preach his word. Amen. I, I wonder sometimes I, I look and I see that there are so many of us preaching the same word. Amen. We are God is sending us forth to cast forth the same net. Amen. Amen. We're preaching and we're teaching on the same subjects. Amen. And I believe sometimes what happened to some of us is well, we say, well, you know, and they, they are so and so taught that. I'm not going to deal with that. But I believe that there comes a time when God has one thought, one idea, one purpose for his people. Amen. And I believe that if God has set forth that this day, this time, amen, this Mother's Day, that God is speaking to the mothers, amen, to let you know that your due season has come. Amen. amen. The season whereby you are no longer a, a, a planter, but you are a harvester. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. God is saying that no longer is this just something that's moving in your life through your words. Amen. But God said it is a season whereby you must put it into action. Can I get a witness? God said that there's no longer a time, amen, when you simply dream. Amen. But God said it's time for those dreams to become your reality. Amen. Amen. God said that it's time, amen, that it's you're no longer a promise, amen. But God is saying that it is time that you take possession of what belongs to you. Can I get a witness, amen? God says, amen. God is speaking to somebody. God is saying, amen, that your time for being the borrower is over with. God said you are no longer to be the, the borrower, amen. But God is moving you into a season in your life where you ought to be delivered. Can I get a witness? Amen. Somebody ought to pray with me. Amen. Because I believe God is saying to us, amen, that it is the due season of our life. Can I get a witness? Amen. Anybody been encouraged? Amen. Over the past few weeks, over the past few days, has God done anything in your life that showed you that I am more than just a conqueror? Amen. That it is time for me to go into my land of Canaan. Amen. That God has prepared for me. God has prepared in my life a land that is flowing with milk and with honey. Amen. And it is time for me to move out of this desert place in my life. And it is time for me to take possession of the kingdom that God has prepared for me in my life. I believe God is speaking to us. Amen. I believe God is saying uh, to us. He's saying to mothers. He's saying, he's saying, you ought to just look at what's going on around you. Can I get a witness? Amen. I want to minister to some single women in here. I believe there's some single women in here. Amen. That you sent children to school. Amen. Yeah. You did not know how you were going to get them there. Amen. Yeah. Those same children that folk had given up on. Yeah. Those children that folk thought wasn't going to be nothing. But because you recognize it's my due season. Amen. It's my season where God is going to prosper. Amen. Everything that I touch, everything that I lay my hands on. Can I get somebody that's willing to believe that? I got the Jesus touch. Amen. Everything that I lay my hands on, people that I talk to, amen, where I go, everything that I move into, yes. I believe God is setting us up for a new season. Yes, I believe yes, God yes. is setting us up for a season whereby his people are going to be blessed. Yes, his people yes. are not going to wait on somebody else, but his people are going to realize that yes. my God, my God is yes. evil. My God, he can. He can make a way out of no way. God is going to take the intangible of my life. God is going to take those things that seem like they went wrong. God is going to take good God of my, those things that have not worked out. You tried to make 
make it work. You've given it your best. You've done the best you could with it. But it seemed like it wasn't working. But I come out and tell you, the reason it wasn't working was because it was not the season. But here we are on this day, on this Mother's Day. I come out and tell somebody, it is your due season. Those things that didn't work, God is going to sell them. God is going to begin to work. God is going to begin to do some things in your life that has never been done before. God is going to create some avenues. God is going to create, God said he is going to create a river in the desert. He's going to make a highway through the woods of your life. Can I get a witness? God is going to take somebody. You've been told no for so many times in your life. God is going to get ready. He's going to put some folk in your path. He's going to put some folk in your way that recognize that you are a child of God. They're going to recognize that God got his hands on you. They're going to recognize God has got a purpose for you. There are some people that God is going to put in your life. They're going to help you when folk that know you turn their backs on you. God is going to set up some folk. Why is it going to do that preacher? I believe he's going to do it because he says it is your due season. I'm willing to right now. I, mean, I want to know somebody that recognizes I am going to walk in my due season. This is not the season for me to fail. I want y'all to know something. Cancer can't do anything in my life because I'm in my due season. I'm walking in my due season. My healing is assured because it's my due season. Yes. And I get a witness. Yes, Somebody yes. that's sick, you ought to start moving in your due season. Yes. Somebody that's been trying to find a job, you need to start moving in yes. your due season. Yes. Somebody yes. that feels yes. like you're left out, you need to start moving in your due season. I don't know about you, but preachers, I'm in a due season in my life. What yes. am I set my hands to? God is going to make it possible. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Sometimes, church, sometimes you need to, to take time to put words together. To understand what it is that God is saying to his people. That's right. Yes. 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 I came in the house mm -hmm. yesterday. I'd been outside. I'd been, well, me and my wife, were, when we were working in the yard, we were working in some flowers. And I told her, I said, you know, I said, God is just, just blessing me in my new season. <laughs> I, said, because, I, I said, because you know, I'm human enough. I would be laying on the couch somewhere, throwing myself away. Yes. Wondering how things are going to come out. Yes. But because I'm in my deuces. Yes. Yes. Now, God, God, God said, if I, if I don't faint, amen. God said, if I don't hurt, God said, if I don't follow you, and it come in and bitter me because of what may not seem like it's going, like I think it ought to be going. Somebody to know uh, you in the due season of your life. Uh, you in the season of your life uh, where God said you're going to prosper. God said that you're going to be the head. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, God said that you're going to be healed. Uh, God said you're going to find peace. Uh, you're going to be delivered. <laughs> now, before I finish with this. <laughs> I thought it necessary just to give you the hookup. Go ahead. Hook up? Go ahead, preach. <laughs> Webster defines do, D-U-E, D -U -E, uh -huh. as that which rightfully belongs to. All right. All right now. Come on, preacher. I don't want nobody going like me boy from here thinking that, well, I don't know what my due season is. God said that do is what was do you is what rightfully belongs to you. In other words, what God has promised his people. 
Yes. It rightfully belongs to me. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yes. Everything that God, God said that it is his will for my life that I prosper and be in good health. Yes, yes. Because if God has said it, it belongs to me. Yes. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Somebody ain't listening. Tell them again. The reason you ain't listening because you still sitting there. Somebody ought to be praying to God right now because I realize that there's some things that God has that it rightfully belongs to yeah. Somebody ought to realize that you're in a season where you can lay claim on what God says is yours. Say it, preacher. And not only can I lay claim on what God says belongs to me, I can take back what the enemy just stole. Good God Almighty, the enemy, the devil has some stuff that belongs to the children of God. Amen. Ha, ha, ha. And you gotta make it up in your mind. Yeah. It's my due season. Yes. It's my due season. Yes. yes. That which rightfully belongs to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, baby. Say it. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Season. <laughs> is a special period of time. Break it down, Pastor. Y'all ain't here. <laughs> Why you know we ain't here yet, Pastor? I'm still sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> because I believe that when God get through with somebody concerning this word, there's somebody that should have done moved by. Yes. Because you know what I'm talking about. Yes. You have been in this thing, amen. You have watched, amen. Glory. You have looked at some things. You have examined some things. God has shown you some stuff coming together that should not have happened unless God is in it. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody went to the doctor and the doctor seen something. You went back and he didn't see anything. You in your new season. Yes. You are praying God. Yes. You are walking. You are talking. Yes, sir. You are yes. living in yes. your new season. Of who God is. Glory, glory. <laughs> glory. Somebody ought to know what it is. Yes, sir. That my God is taking away. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, God. Yes, God.
I'm through sitting around and doing nothing. I'm through throwing pity parties. I'm through feeling sorry for myself. Amen. I'm in my due season. Amen. Not only am I going to prosper. Amen. But God is going to call those. He's going to touch my family. He's going to touch my kinfolk. He's going to touch folk on my job. He's going to touch folk. I'm going to walk past the folk on the street. I'm going to walk past some folk that don't even know my name. Yes. And they call I'm in my due season. God is going to bless the folk around me. I believe it right now, right? And therefore, I speak it. Yes. 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 It is so. Somebody right now, under the sound of my voice, you have gone through some things. But the Bible says that you shall reap. If you're faint now. Reap means you shall gather in. You are going to gather in. Yes. Glory, glory. But let me tell you the dangerous thing about reaping. The word says that if you sow sparingly, you reap. <laughs> I tell you what I want you to start doing. I want you to start sowing. Just like you Remember that day how you shouted when you found out you were getting a refund? I want you to shout like right that every day. I want you to shout huh? like yes. you know. Huh? I don't care what it is, huh? but because I set my hands to it, huh? God is going to allow me to reap huh? because I'm not going to faint. Huh? The word says faint huh? is to pass out huh? because you became huh? exhausted. Huh? We got some folk in the church huh? who are spiritually exhausted. Huh? You made to give up. Huh? You yes, made to throw it yes. But my God said that you shall reap if you in faint due not. season if you faint not. Glory to your name. Glory. Thank <laughs> you, mm. I want y'all to know something. I don't care what it looks like. That's right. It's your new season. Mm. Mm. Sometimes your setback is just a setup for your blessing. Yes. 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 You got to start calling. Your assurance of God. Into some stuff. Yes. Yes. The odds may be stacked against you, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the word says, if Christ be for us, uh, who uh, can be against us? Uh, the word says, I am convinced, amen, uh, I am persuaded uh, that there is nothing uh, that can separate me yes, from the love, love of God, God which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, I come out and tell you, mothers, uh, it is your due season. Uh, yeah. God, and he's saying to some mothers, amen, you're going to reap from them because you have sown, amen, because you have kept the faith, amen, Thank you, Jesus. because you did not get weary. Thank you, God Jesus. said it is your due season. God said you are in a season the way you shouldn't be worried about your children. God said because you raised them the best you could, you are in your due season. God said don't worry about your job. Don't worry about your finances. God said because you Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. I want to leave y'all with something concerning me. I don't care what they say. I'm in my due season. Amen. I'm in the season of my life. Amen. Good God Almighty. I'm going to reap out of this thing. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to come out of this reaping, amen. Yes, God's going to get the glory. God is going to get the glory. Because I know 
something I know. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm coming out. With my hands up. You ought to come out. With your hands up. You ought to come out. Praising God. You ought to come out. Yes. Not only that he is. He's out for God. And he's obey the God. He's the God of the works. He's the God of the land. He's the God of my beginning. He's the God of the end. He is my everything. He's my all. And my all. He's my bridge over trouble water. He's the God of my head. He's the living. Yeah. my valley. Somebody say that. He's water. When I'm thirsty. He's food. Yes. It's your new season.